Well, hello everyone. This is Ron, the Hiking Ham, Alpha Alpha 8, Papa India. And we're a few days in the spring here in northwest Ohio and uh, had a few warm days and now we're below freezing with some uh, snow flurries out there. So uh, what I thought I'd do today is rather than go on a hike, I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about how I uh, use solar power in my uh, home station and uh, I power my uh, ICOM 7200 and 7300 at uh, 100 watts just using uh, solar panels that I have out in my backyard and I run those into a, a charge controller and then use a 20 amp hour uh, lithium ion a lithium iron uh, yeah lithium iron <laughs> phosphate uh, battery a 20 amp hour battery that I have from BioNO I use that to store the uh, the solar energy and then to uh, run the radios. So uh, what I have, uh, I'll show you next. I actually have uh, my ICOM 7300 turned on to uh, 3.668, and we'll be able to hear the start of the Geritol net. The Geritol net's a, a very fun uh, worked all states uh, net for uh, extra class operators and what you have to do there is uh, work uh, other extra class uh, operators around the United States and collect their QSL cards. So uh, let's take a look and hear what's happening with the Geritol net and then I'll show you uh, the, uh, the solar panels, the, the battery and the charge controllers. And I should point out that the uh, that the uh, Geritol nets being powered by uh, by solar power. So uh, let's take a look. Not hearing anything. I'll send it over to Frosty. Whiskey Zero Fox Papa from KB19. Okay, uh, Kenny, thanks. Uh, it's uh, Zero Fox Papa from the Geritol net. Anybody here? Have we invited up special to the net tonight? Hello, Kilo. Good evening, Frosty, and everyone in the net. This is Alpha Charlie 9, Golf Kilo. Steve, located in Indiana, bringing up Geritol number 2656, Director 768, Work Call Canada 24 and a Q, over. Oh, I have it down now, Alpha Charlie 9, Golf Kilo, that's Steve in Indiana, Geritol 2656, Director 768, Work Canada number 24, and a Q number, Papa India. Uh, good evening, Frosty, and everyone on the Geritol net. This is Ron in Ohio, Alpha Alpha 8, Papa India, with Geritol number 2677. I'm an Army veteran and first licensed in 2018. Back to you, Frosty. I was joined, or first, we were joined by Alpha Alpha 8, Papa India. That's Ron in Ohio, Geritol 2677. He's an Army vet, first licensed in 2018. Bill Oscar. Good evening, Frosty. This is Alpha Alpha Zero. Delta Oscar, Terry in Missouri. Geritol 643, Director 38. What's the key number? Oh, I have a gentleman, Alpha Alpha Zero, Delta Oscar. That's Terry in Missouri. Geritol 643, Director 38. And a QCWA number, one Yankee. Okay, what I'm showing you here is my uh, battery box that I obtained from uh, PowerWorks. Now if I move in a little closer you can see the, uh, the voltage indicator there indicating that the battery has about 13.1 uh, volts and inside the battery box is a BioNO Bio 20 amp hour battery and these two uh, leads right here you can see the red one and the black one coming into the uh, battery box terminals. These leads here go out to my uh, solar charge controller and the other two leads, this red and this black, go into a PowerWorks device right here. This is called the uh, PowerWorks Precision uh, Watt Meter and Power uh, Analyzer. It's a little hard to, to see what's being shown on the screen but it gives you a real-time uh, view of how many amps are being drawn which in this case uh, I'm running 2.35 amps out of the battery now uh, that's because I have both my uh, my ICOM 7200 and my ICON 7300 are on and then you have a, a scrolling uh, rolling uh, indication of watt hours amperages and uh, amp hours so you can keep track of 
uh, what's going on with your uh, battery in terms of uh, the, uh, the two transceivers and what they're drawing in terms of their power. And then coming out of this device here, I split the, uh, the wires there and one set of uh, black and red wires goes to the ICOM 7200 and the other uh, black and red wires go to the, uh, the uh, 7300. So I got both my, my transceivers are hooked up to this. Right now I got both of them running, but usually I, I just run one at a time. I use the 7200 for uh, uh, CW and the 7300 I use primarily for uh, single sideband. Okay, what I'm showing here is the uh, solar uh, charge controller called the Wanderer that I got from Renogy. Uh, Renogy is Romeo, Echo, November, Oscar, Golf, Yankee and this is a 30 amp solar charge controller and the flashing green light is telling me that I'm uh, collecting uh, solar energy and I should point out that it's uh, cloudy outside today and uh, even with the clouds out there uh, you're still collecting solar energy so this is a, a 30 amp uh, unit and uh, you can see uh, just below you can see that the, the uh, two wires coming in from uh, the solar panels I'll zoom in a little closer here here is a, a, a kill switch basically I can flip that switch and turn off the, uh, the solar panels and uh, no energy is then flowing into the uh, solar charge controller and one thing to be aware of with the uh, solar charge controller is you always want to make sure that you're connected to the battery before you uh, connect to the solar panels and then uh, the power uh, goes along through the, uh, the red line here you can see and uh, what I have then before it goes to my uh, bioeno battery I actually have a, a battery switch this is just a marine battery switch and I can switch between two batteries uh, battery number one is my Renogy uh, 50 amp hour lithium battery that I use just as a backup power source in case uh, you know we lose uh, power at my house and I run that 50 amp hour through a uh, 2000 watt inverter you know I can run my TV and my internet and things like that for about 10 hours and then the other uh, position battery 2 is the uh, bio NO 20 amp hour lithium battery that uh, is used to power my, uh, my my two radios the ICOM 7200 and the 7300 Okay, these are my two uh, Renogy 100 watt mono crystalline solar, solar panels. Each one uh, puts out 100 watts and uh, solar has uh, gotten really cheap. It's down to about $1 per watt. Each uh, solar panel here operates at 20 volts and puts out 5 amps at the maximum power of 100 watts. And I have the solar panels uh, connected in parallel so that means that I've got 20 volts and 10 amps going into the basement where uh, you previously saw the solar charge controllers so you know theoretically with a, uh, a full power output here for my 20 amp hour uh, bioeno battery it would only take about two hours to uh, get a full charge on the battery uh, you know that's not going to be uh, happening all the time especially in northwestern Ohio with the kind of climate we have but uh, certainly uh, I can keep that uh, battery topped off you know while these solar panels charge all, all day long and uh, honestly I can't even remember the last time I had to uh, uh, charge the uh, bioeno uh, battery using my uh, my house power so these are great little solar panels uh, for uh, converting your shack to solar power you can mount them on the ground here like I have them here in my backyard uh, you can uh, get special roof mounting brackets and uh, mount them on your roof and uh, if you're running a hundred watt transceiver I would just recommend uh, two 100 watt Renogy panels like I have uh, right here 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, short video showing how I use solar power to power my, uh, my radios in my ham shack at home. And uh, in the next, uh, in a later episode, I'll show you how I use solar power when I'm out uh, hiking and, and setting up and operating uh, portable. So thanks for stopping by uh, my channel, The Hiking Ham. If you like what you're seeing here, uh, please hit the subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing you again. 73.